What's good everybody, it's your boy DB Kicks, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys five different ways to style a hoodie, five different types of hoodies, five different ways to wear it, however you want to say it, but first let's get this out of the way, my dimensions, I am 5'8", 160 pounds, size 8 sneaker, pants by the 32-33, uh, tops should all be mediums unless I state otherwise, and any of the hoodies that I can find, I will link them in the description box below, the Gap Color Block Hoodie. Now, a hoodie like this, you don't want to do too much with the outfit because, in my opinion, the hoodie already has a lot going on. You've got navy blue, like a mauve color, a plum color, brown, uh, white. So, it's a lot going on with this hoodie. By the way, this hoodie is really fire. I think I probably paid less than, I don't know, I probably paid like $20-something dollars from it from the Gap outlet in Texas. This joint is clean, but it is available online, and it's on sale right now if you want it. But I styled it with a pair of Jordan 3 Amamiers, a pair of brown Abercrombie and Fitch pants. But we're not going to talk too much details about the outfit. But anyway, so the hoodie, it's a fairly lightweight hoodie. This isn't something you want to wear when it's very, very cold. It's going to be a good hoodie to wear transitioning from winter to springtime, which should be very, very soon. Gap hoodies are pretty solid for the price, in my opinion. They're not heavyweight cotton or anything like that, but they're just really go to hoodies and I picked this one up because it's it's just different. I haven't seen one like this and it's just a very standout hoodie. You want this a hoodie like this, you want this to be the focus of the outfit. I don't think the sneakers need to be doing too much. You'll see another outfit in a few minutes where you're going to see that the sneakers is pretty much you know, the standout piece of the outfit even though I'm talking about hoodies, but you'll get the point. But um, if you guys don't have the Jordan 3 I'm on the year, um I definitely think you can pull off the Jordan 4 Amma Mir. This is my wife's pair, but I just grabbed these just to show you guys for reference. In case you have this shoe, you're watching this video, and you like this hoodie, you can go grab it. All right, so that is enough for the color blocked hoodie. So next outfit, we're going to go with something a little bit more simple. Just what I was talking about with the sneakers kind of being like out there. So this is a very plain outfit very plain hoodie it's just a basic hoodie but basic hoodies are my favorite i can add whatever i want to to the hoodie just to add more to the outfit this is a yellow j crew hoodie which i believe is on sale right now i don't know if this color is i'd have to check but again i'll link it in the description box below so this hoodie is definitely heavier than the gap hoodie that i'm wearing and it's definitely higher quality but if you want to add more layers to it you want to warm up a bit more. I do have a puffer vest on to throw on top of the hoodie. It's just a good way to accent your hoodie, a good way to add more layers to it instead of just wearing just a yellow hoodie. Throw on a vest, you know what I'm saying? You, this one has texture to it too as well, so it definitely doesn't take away from the hoodie. It's only going to add to it. The Atmos Air Max 1, and I picked a sneaker like this because this outfit is so plain. A lot of you guys might be cool with just a plain outfit. I definitely am, but for this video, for the sake of this hoodie, you know, I felt like it needed something, uh, it just needed something else. It was just yellow and black. I didn't want to do just, just do yellow and black. So I went with a wild sneaker, no pun intended. And let me know what you guys think about adding a vest to your hoodie. And it's also a comfortable fit too. It just elevates the basic hoodie in my opinion. It makes it look like you know what you're doing. Keeping it with the basic hoodies. This is a cream J. Crew hoodie. The jeans complement this cream hoodie very, very well. The quality is not as good as the yellow one, even though they look pretty similar. They are different. One is like a heritage hoodie, and the other hoodie is like an outlet kind of hoodie. You know what I'm saying? So it's a bit cheaper. Probably find these on the J. Crew factory website. What else can you add to a hoodie to make the outfit, to complete the outfit? you can add a flannel, all right? So in this case, you can do a flannel or any type of button up. So this is a flex Oxford shirt. You know, kind of like that same feel as like a, a dress shirt that's not like silky. That's kind of the best way to describe how this hoodie feels and um, the texture of it, but it's pretty lightweight. This outfit is just really, really dope in my opinion. This hoodie is just, it's perfect. It's a very neutral color. So adding a flannel to your outfit is a must or a button up shirt however you want to put it however you want to call it try this out you know what i'm saying when it's not too cold outside just find a really dope flannel in your closet i guarantee you you could take that flannel and add it with a hoodie and make you a really dope outfit it's just going to take it to the next level the next step and just a tip when it comes to layering these basic hoodies i would not do a hoodie with a bunch of designs and stuff like that 
or too much going on. For example, this gap hoodie, I wouldn't throw on a plaid flannel on top of it because it's gonna clash. It's just not gonna really, um, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. So let's move on to the next outfit. One of my favorite recent hoodies. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch, the oversized style hoodie. All right, so I'm giving you guys a little bit of every type of hoodie that I own in my, my wardrobe. So the oversized hoodie, but it's got a bunch of graphics going on. It's got like a mountain graphic type of style. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch. Very, very dope hoodie. So something like this that's got a lot going on. I want this hoodie to be like, you know what I'm saying? The standout, the statement piece for my outfit. I'm not too worried about, I'm not gonna say I'm not worried about the sneakers and the pants, but I'm building my outfit off of the hoodie. So the hoodie's cream, white, gray, and green. I thought, okay, let's, let's blend it in really nicely with the green sweats and add that cool gray 11 to play off of the middle of the hoodie where the gray mountains is at. I could have easily ran with a green and white pair of sneakers, but I felt like because I was doing the green pants, I just wanted to do a simple gray Jordan 11, super classic. But let me know what you guys think about a graphic hoodie not too many of these in my wardrobe so the last hoodie i have to show you guys today a bit of an underrated style of a hoodie i need to pick more of these up the zip up hoodie this is a carhartt chase hoodie it's just a zip up version i think i got this probably like two years ago on sale very nice quality a very nice red it's not too bright it's not too dark it's like right there in the middle but what's really dope about zip up hoodies where you get that advantage at if you have a fire graphic tee that you want to show off go ahead and unzip that that hoodie and you can see i'm wearing a cause graphic t-shirt so this cause graphic t-shirt is kind of useless if i'm wearing a pullover i know pullovers is like what's the hottest those are my favorite as well but the zip ups are definitely underrated i mean who knows they could come pretty pretty strong uh come back pretty strong for 2023 i'm not sure i'm not the guy that <laughs> determines what's hot but I think a zip up hoodie is definitely essential to your wardrobe. Basic, but just the little additions to it, like the Carhartt logo and gold on the sleeve, it just adds just a little bit of pop to it. If you guys are curious what kind of pants these are, these are from Nike SB. These are like a fleece polar pants. So this outfit, this hoodie is just giving straight cozy vibes with the Nike SB. A little bit of hype. I kind of did that on purpose created like a little hype outfit. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say as far as styling a zip up hoodie. So those are five different ways that you can style your hoodies. You got your oversized with the graphic, color block hoodies, hoodie with the, the, the vest, um, hoodie with the graphic shirt, and hoodie with a flannel. All right, so there's more, probably more ways, but these are like my most common ways that I would style my hoodie. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely check out more content. Consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at db underscore kicks. I'll throw up a playlist so you guys can see more of my how to style content, maybe a sneaker review, uh, just whatever you guys are into. I might have something just for you. And I appreciate you guys coming through, showing love to the channel. And your boy DB Kicks is out.